Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a classified website using Laravel framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of publishing advertisement and I had published two advertisements in this classified website and these are those two advertisements okay and in this video what I will do is I will fetch all these two advertisements and I will display these advertisements here on my users page okay so the way when user clicks here on the logo or whenever refresh the page automatically all the uh, advertisements start displaying on this users page here in my uh, in my already built classified website exactly the same way I want to display all the advertisements on the users page okay so now for doing that first I need to set up a route okay so for that i need to go to my web.php which is present inside the routes folder and i will just copy this okay i will paste it here i will change it change the description to load all advertisements okay and then get ads okay and this one is also get ads okay and then this one is ads okay so I have renamed my controller to categories and I have renamed my function name which I'm going to create inside users controller to ads okay so now for getting all the advertisements here also I'm using Ajax and jQuery okay so that the more the moment when page gets loaded uh, all the advertisement should get fetched out from the database table uh, from uh, using an ajax call and it will start displaying on the users page okay so now i need to go to my app.blade.php and here i need to write the jquery code to making an ajax call okay so i'll just copy the same code here and i will use an if condition the window dot location is equals to equals to okay so i will copy this url okay so i'm using i'm referring this url for displaying the uh, displaying all the advertisements okay so i will just copy and i will put it here okay and then i will just take this cut it out and i will put it here and here I need to change the name as ads because I have created a controller and I have actually I have renamed the controller and function inside this web.php okay so the same thing I need to copy and I have to paste it here okay and here I'm making a get request okay and then data and here I will just comment these things out and here I will be displaying the data whatever coming from my function ads function from categories controller or user controller okay so now I need to create that function public function get ads okay we go hello okay so now uh, I have made an ajax call to this get ads function from this function okay from this uh, app dot blade dot php okay so for making an ajax call i have set up a route here inside this web dot php okay so now let us see whether my code successfully makes an ajax call to this get ads function or not okay so for doing testing that i need to refresh the page and it should display me an alert box okay so alert box is not displaying okay so let me just come back here okay function get ads hello okay let's come here okay here everything is fine dot location okay so public url categories dot ads okay here everything is fine okay just refresh okay, 
let's just go back and let's see okay here everything is fine let's come to my web.php okay so here okay here it should be get okay because from this web.php web uh, app.play.php file i'm making a get request okay so now it should display me an alert box with a message okay now you can see it's displaying an alert box with a message as hello which i have written inside users controller okay that means my jquery is been perfectly making an ajax call to this function okay i'll just remove it and I will, okay i will call db i will include the table from which i want to get the advertisements and that is advertisement table okay and let me just check the name yes it's advertisements okay now let's come back here and output okay and then i will put an if condition if my table contains any records okay then i will or else okay else output I will display a message as not found okay and then echo output okay if I if my table contains records then I will iterate over those records using for loop for each loop dollar adds as row okay and then dollar output and then due okay class so with the class of column medium three okay three columns and then I will create one more due okay with a class okay will not make any class here okay and then i will use an img tag because i'm uh, because i will be displaying the image of the product okay here okay and then str talk dollar row of photos okay and then we'll make put some style okay and adding as 10 pixels okay important Okay, and then width I need to set the width to the product image as 100% and I also need to put the height and I'll set it to 182 pixel okay next I need to display the product name as well for that I will use s3 element okay and here I will use dollar row of product name 
okay and i also want to display selling price okay and that i will display in a p tag okay dollar row xp sell price okay and then i will i want to display the price as well price and city okay i have already uh, displayed the price and now i need to display the city dollar row of city okay and at the end i need to display a view link href okay okay dollar server okay http referer okay and okay and then product slash view Okay, and then dollar row of ID. Okay, yes. Okay, so here I am creating a view link, and with that link, I am linking the ID of that product, and that ID is the is that ID. Uh, with which that record is been stored inside the table that is this id okay okay view save it okay so now yeah that's all and then we need to for displaying these this data i need to go to my user.blade.php and here below this 12 column i need to make a do okay with a class of row and id as advertisements okay inside this div i'm going to display all the products okay with their images price and uh, and the name of the product okay so now i need to use this id here inside my app.play.php okay I need to put here okay i'll create it advertisement dot html and i need to pass the data okay which will be coming from the database okay so now let's just test it refresh okay so there is an error uh, syntax error expected okay yes here i have not closed i have not uh, put a semicolon okay here i have to first close the due okay which is this due and again i need to close one more due which is the second div okay and i had not uh, uh, kept, kept this semicolon that's why that error was coming so now let me just refresh okay let me check once again so your str talk okay here it should be comma okay let's save it and refresh okay yeah. okay so dollar output okay and then i need to display the output okay save it
Okay. Uh, okay. All wrong count. Okay. Okay. Here should be get. Okay. Now let's refresh. Now oh, let us see. Okay. Now you can see uh, our images and their details is successfully gets fetched from the from this table and it's i'm successfully managed to display those images and the details on the user's page the moment when i load the uh, website okay so when i click on again refresh the page you will see those images will start displaying on the page okay so now here uh, when i click on this view link it's also displaying the id of each and every product okay you can see it's displaying the id as two okay now here uh, here inside my table as you can see images are stored separated by commas okay so i had uploaded three images for first product and each and every image is been separated by comma as you can see here and this is the okay this is the second comma okay so now each and every url for image product image is been separated by a comma okay so now while displaying these images here on the browser i need to remove that comma and i need to separately okay i need to get only the first image okay what i have done is i have separated i have taken the image only only i have taken the only the first image to display and i have not taken rest of the images okay for that what i have done is i have used a string function str talk okay so out of those three images it has taken only first image uh, wherever it finds comma in that complete string till that point it has read the string and it has taken only first image out of those three images and it has displayed the displayed it on the screen okay so now uh, this is how i have uh, managed to get the image from the database okay and uh, yeah here this for each i have used to iterate over each and every record okay so now uh, this is the functionality of uh, fetching the records or images or product names uh, product details from the database okay for doing this what i have done is i have set up a route here first okay and then inside my app.blade.php when the url is set to this url at that time i am making an ajax call to my ads function of my users controller okay so this is I have, here i have renamed my controller and function name okay but actual controller name is users controller and inside the users controller i have created created an ads get ads function okay so to this i have renamed to categories and ads okay here i have made a get request i have made an ajax call to my users controller to get the data okay and, and finally i am displaying the data here on my users.blade.php by setting up an id and this id i am referring inside my app.blade.php here okay so to display the data okay so this is uh, everything about fetching the details of all the published products and displaying them on the users page okay and that's all for this video i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching